please to welcome up our Katanas, who's going to give us this icebreaker entitled Fortunate in Life. Thank you. Fortunate in Life, Art Katanas. Mr. Postmaster, uh, members of the media, uh, hello everybody. Uh, thank you very much for uh, letting me speak here tonight. Uh, this is uh, my second speech, uh, icebreaker for the group. Um, tonight, I'd like to introduce myself to everybody so you get to know a little bit more information about myself. Um, I, uh, well, first of all, uh, my name is Arturo Cardenas, or in Spanish is uh, Arturo Cardenas. Um, I'm originally from Mexico, and more than anything, I consider myself very, very fortunate in life. Uh, I've been through a lot of things uh, uh, through my entire life, many things that were not supposed to happen, a lot of things that went wrong, somehow I was able to survive and made it all the way to here today. The reason why I feel so fortunate is because I have a, a great family, I have uh, the closest friends I, I could ever ask for, and the people I wanted to meet in my life, they are still up to date in my life, so that's the reason why I consider myself fortunate. Um, I am originally from, uh, from Mexico. I speak Spanish. I speak uh, a little bit of English. Uh, uh, I, uh, I, I was uh, raised in Mexico. Um, I come from a very humble family. Uh, my family didn't have that much money, and sometimes we had little food on the table to basically live. Um, from an early age, I was, uh, very, I was uh, gifted in mathematics, so that helped me to get through, through life, to get so, some opportunities uh, ahead of time. Um, uh, one of the things that I tell you is, most, the question that most people ask me is, how do I make it to this country? That's, that's the number one question that people ask me. So, uh, I'd like to tell you, I, I went to school in Mexico, I have a four-year degree in computer science uh, from Mexico. Then I went to work for a bank uh, in Mexico, it used to be called National Bank of Mexico. They had a branch in, in Houston. Um, then after five years of working for a bank, uh, one day the boss of my boss comes to the office and says that there was an opportunity to go to Houston uh, to cover a temporary vacancy. So, my first reaction was to say, hey, I'm interested, uh, pick me, pick me, but the boss of my boss said, no, 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 you're not the one, so they already had somebody else in mind, so they sent somebody else in mind to Houston, and then uh, two days later, that person comes back to Mexico, it's like, what happened, you were supposed to be there two weeks, and what happened is that person was not uh, prepared, fully prepared to be in Houston, like some technical abilities as well as the English language. So then um, I had to go and, and talk to the boss of my boss that night. Actually, I wasn't the one to, to go to, um, to Houston. He had somebody else in mind. So I had to basically uh, talk for like two hours that night. It was a late night. Finally, after listening to me, uh, I had to basically sell myself for the position. Finally, he said, okay, we're going to give you one opportunity. That's all you're going to get. So either you take it or we, we bring you back in one day. You only have one day to, to be accepted or you're back. So finally, they sent me to Houston. I was supposed to be there for, uh, well, for two weeks. And I was lucky to be accepted by everybody at the Houston Dress Center. So they accepted me. And I was able to be there, to be there for, for uh, two weeks. Then uh, they accepted my, my, my time. Uh, that bank actually brought me legally to the United States with an intercompany transfer visa. Um, I was in Houston for, for five years. I have great memories from Houston. Um, by the end of the five years, um, I was looking for another job. So uh, I found that Nations Bank here in Charlotte, they were looking also for people with my skills. So I applied for the position. They were the ones who actually flew me to, uh, from Houston to Charlotte. Uh, and then, uh, just like usual, I found that I was not supposed to be the candidate that they were supposed to hire. Uh, they told me actually once they, they brought me here after the interview, it's like, oh no, 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 you, you were not supposed to be here, it's like, okay. 
Fine, so I made it somehow, and then after the interviews through the entire day, I was able actually to make it through the final interviews and be able to be accepted by, by, the, uh, uh, by, by, the, uh, by the bank. I'm very grateful to uh, Nations Bank because they were the ones who sponsored me for my, for my green card. And uh, they, they, I, was, I worked for them for five years. After five years, I, I went to work with uh, information systems uh, for the bank. So I was very grateful to do what I'm passionate about. After five years, then I was looking for another job. I went to work for, for a hospital uh, in Concord, uh, North East Medical Center. They were the ones who hired me. And uh, later they merged with Carolina's healthcare system. Uh, at the same, I went to work for information services, information uh, technology. So far, I've been there for nine years. Uh, very grateful to do what I like to do because uh, I enjoy tremendously uh, working for that uh, company. Um, so that's, uh, that's one of the things I have to say. The other thing I have to say is that usually in my case, uh, I'm the one who are, is not supposed to get opportunities. And usually I have to always look, uh, go and fight for them and tell them that, hey, I, give me one chance. You know, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not that bad. After talking to people and you know, doing a lot of things, finally I'm able to get the, the opportunities. So that's one of the reasons I consider myself very, very uh, fortunate. And uh, so tonight I'm very thankful for you guys listening here, uh, my speech here tonight. So I want to say thank you very much for listening. Um, uh, thank you. Listen. Listen.